So yes, your girl, your girl, your girl is a bride. <laughs> my my in-laws are coming today. My husband's people. <laughs> that sounds so funny. But yes, my husband's people are coming to see, to do something on my head. <laughs> the one to tie one motorbike on my head. still quite very dark it's 6 a.m i'm going to church this early in the morning because um it's the lenten season for us um, and lenten seasons will have stations of the cross in the morning and in the evening in the morning the station of the cross starts at um 6 a.m and then in the evening it starts at 5 p.m i'm going for the one in the morning today because i know how busy my day will get today and I might not make it for the evening one. So I'm just like, okay, let me just wake up a little bit earlier and make it for the morning session. Because normally, morning mass starts at 6.30. So that's about the time when I would I would go. Some days when I'm too tired or have so much work, I don't attend morning mass Saturday morning. So I only go um, just when it's finishing for me to go and clean the church. But today I'm just like, you know what? Let me just do all of it. now and the weather is looking really dull like rain will still fall rain fell yesterday night breaking in short this morning breaking this morning rain fell um let's talk about the knock door <laughs> well well your girl is getting married right so today is a knock door and what knock door is like it's like um traditional engagement here that's what it means for us or some other people will call it introduction where the groom's family comes to meet the bride's family to tell them that they have seen a flower in their compound they want to plug <laughs> and then the bride's family will give them a list 
of items they have to bring in order to pluck that flower and when they do bring those items officially they can pluck the flower carry it and go that's the traditional marriage i love using this analogy of flower because it's just so funny because at that time during the knock door the bride and groom almost behave like they've never seen each other they don't know each other the, usually during the knock door the groom does not talk um, a designated member of his family which is usually the eldest person in his family that is the person who does all the talking and all the ne negotiations for the groom the groom just sits there sits there looking at places and acting like he doesn't even know the flower the uncle is talking about that they want to plug <laughs> And the bride to just sit somewhere acting like she doesn't know she's the flower that they want to pluck anyway so that's what the knock door a typical knock door in a cameroonian setting should look like and usually the bride's family welcomes the groom's family right so we are going to cook buy drinks because it's not it's not it's not a surprise usually knock doors the groom's family do not come to your house and surprise you right the groom was already Come and see the bride's father before this day prior to this day and he has spoken to my dad and they have fixed a date when they fix that date then the groom goes back and brings down his family to come and do the knock door proper so it's not like they are taking us by surprise we are aware of their coming so we have to cook and buy drinks but the groom's family usually they will still come with drinks so they'll still buy their own drinks but that's like whiskeys um, wine for their own stuff before they're drinking after the food right we will provide that and we'll provide the food as well so yes let's get home now and and start working yesterday we tried to prep all our things to cook this morning i don't know why i did not start vlogging yesterday because i don't know I'm probably just tired like that but we try to prep all of that so that this morning we would just wake up and start cooking and we bought the drinks yesterday as well but yes that's about it for the cameroonian no door some other people call it introduction because this is the first time officially that both families are sitting and talking about subsequent major which is the marriage right so yes your girl your girl your girl is a bride <laughs> i cannot even believe i'm saying this like my my in-laws are coming today my husband's people <laughs> that sounds so funny but yes my husband's people are coming to see to do something on my head <laughs> they want to tie one motorball on my head but anyway yeah let's go my mom left church before me because i had to stay back to clean the church and i got home to her already involved in her proteins we already boiled all the proteins last night so she was just taking them out from the water preparing all her stuff to start cooking her special soup a traditional meal and while she was doing that my sister was at the other side doing what she knows how to do best this my sister is a queen of cleaning when it comes to cleaning and she will do it happily and you see her doing it all excitement this is just what she knows how to do best especially when we are expecting guests she's the one who sets up the parlor does the setting and all of that and i was here giving her moral support i was dancing and giving her moral support <laughs> but yes this is my sister like this eh? don't give her kitchen work oh don't tell her come and cook all those things in the kitchen mm, give her cleaning work you will see the way somebody can clean with such passion as you can see the speaker was really out music was playing at this point i was just vibing jamming and then my sister see how she's cleaning with so much passion ha no this girl now nah. housewife material 100 yards when it comes to cleaning she will clean your house until you will see no dirt that's her god giving gift or talent if i do say so yes so she came and joined me for a bit sister of the bride <laughs> she was happy as well and she was vibing like Come on, give them. The music had gotten into her at this point. Hey, shh. Hey, hey. <laughs> she was just happy as per the sister of the bride that she is. If I ever hurt you, girl, I'm sorry. Hey, oh, my baby, no go leave me for Lozadi. Hey, 
Finally for the girl that she couldn't impress Last man on the earth still couldn't impress You delusional Hey, 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 hey. So I continued jamming and vibing to some more music while my sister was cleaning and then my mom came from behind the house so she left her cooking department and came and joined me in dancing family members can you see the mother of the bride can you see the smile on her face mother of the bride she came and started joining me in dancing at this point we we're dancing one of our traditional music and yes we're just doing you know prepare yourself well prepare yourself who can dance more than please let me know in the comment section who you think killed it i know you guys cannot get the song i had to mute it for copyright purposes but just tell me who you think danced better see my mom my mom says she's the one who can you see something can you see something this woman says she's the one what is she doing <laughs> I don't even know what she is doing here. You see this my mom's style like this as she has put this her two hands. All music is this same particular style. Be it a traditional music or a western music, anything is this particular. This is her her signature style. <laughs> This is her signature style that she uses to dance for everything. My mom says she knows how to dance so that when she was much younger, she was dancing this traditional dance like vibing well well with it. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section who you think danced better. I don't know if my mom thought it was a smiling competition or she was busy smiling more than she was dancing. This woman is a very happy soul. She's always smiling. That's where I took this smiling from. We had a small break, wiped sweat and continued. <laughs> <laughs> see my mom see how serious is the seriousness for me like why is she serious what is she seriously doing when i win her anyway let me know down in the comment section what you think okay so let me show you at this point the dishes that were already ready planting was ready and um, vegetable was ready as well i just put them on the table um cleaned plates and cutleries already ready and then my sister in charge of the cleaning department she was done at this point. Paolo was ready set. She had arranged all the chairs. I walked to. It should not be like I did not walk. You guys should not think that I did not do anything because it's my knock door. I, I carried plastic chairs from my neighbor's house. And I'm the one who cleans all the plastic chairs I carried. So it should not be like I did not walk. So behind the house, cooking was going on. You know African setting. There are always aunties who come to your house to help you cook when you have an occasion or an event that's what was happening behind here all these aunties came to help my mom cook and this is a traditional meal they are preparing i think some of you are going to see this meal for the very first time because it's not so popular it's called itoko that's the name and some people say it wants to look like a true soup like the uh, darker version of a true soup because it is slightly darker than a true soup but i don't know i don't think so what i know and think is that it might want to look like a true soup but it tastes better than a true soup argue with your keyboard though <laughs> argue with yourself my know those people don't come for me anyway my mom was taking out some to give my dad to eat because at this point my father was like ah, ah he should not come and die here oh. he should give him food he should eat first so that he knows what he's saying and what he's thinking so my mom came and took out some soup for him and normally this meal is supposed to be eaten with pounded cocoa yam like that's the traditional authentic way but in this economy like this eh this to see this quantity of pounded cocoa yam i will just call police for you like what are you doing where do you even see cocoa yam to even use use it like this so another altern alternative is um fufu you can eat the soup with fufu and that's what you see there so the soup was finally ready my aunt was just um putting it into the flags and this soup has all obstacles it has um kanda towel meat fish intestines like all those those obstacles that are just blocking your hands when you want to eat yes that's why i think that's why people say it looks like a true soup but this is it this is our 
famous not famous our traditional meal called itoko which most people don't know but it tastes so good family members see it tastes so good i cannot even start telling you guys the main ingredients that make up this soup because the ingredients are just so unpopular they are not like your random ingredients you walk into any spicy store and see these ones are special special like you have to have a plug before you get them but the soup was ready drinks were ready you see this one bottle of whiskey hanging here in our tradition you do not welcome people into your house without a bottle of whiskey so my dad provided a bottle of whiskey for welcome you is advising me you never hear you walk in they advise me for go pal or go take content All the negotiations had been done at this point they had eaten and drank so i just got into washing plates so that i reduced my work for the next day in the morning morning you all ready to go to church the house is still in a mess but yeah we washed plates yesterday already but the proper cleaning will be done later oops my earrings i've forgotten to wear here this particular sunday i actually pushed myself so hard to show up in church this sunday because i was so tired family members my mom had to wake me up three good times like elomo would you not go to church today and if i dared say i will not go because i'm tired she would just say yes you're just so ungrateful to god yada 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 he has blessed you and that's why you think you don't need to show up again because you have received a blessing from god so i just had to avoid that kind of speech because my mother could give you that kind of speech and pulled up gathered myself i was even preparing myself in the car to show up for church we got to church quite early mass had not even started they had not even started reading mass intention so i was asking myself why was my mom hearing me like that to the point where i had to finish dressing up in the car my sister woke up earlier than i did so she was long ready before me i was the one who was pulling my legs <laughs> I don't cleaning up um this like the parlor is really cleaned we just left the setting like this because for a change um then it's back to normal everywhere is cleaned and everything sorted out here is the flax of the normal bread vegetable i've just washed and kept it in her bag so she'll come and collect it so yes everything is clean so let's let's talk now so if you have watched till this point please just type congratulations in the comment section before you want to hear what i have to say just type congratulations carol okay and thank you so much as you're typing your congratulations thank you so much i'm grateful i truly appreciate it may god bless you and all of that okay now to the cocoa of the matter right i'm so tired if i sound tired please forgive me i'm so tired i came back from church i had to sleep for like 30 minutes first just to reset my brain before I started off with the cleaning up anyway what I'm about to say is that family members, <laughs> family members, your girl is not getting married. It's a prank. <laughs> but please don't spoil the fun of this video. If you're watching till this point, type congratulations. Don't write anything in the comment section that will give it out to somebody in the comment section that this video is a prank. Because some people will just want to come to the comment section to to comment and they will see your comment that is a prank and they will not watch. So if you're watching till this point, instead ginger in the comment section so that people also watch right up until this point where they'll find out from the, for themselves that it's a prank so in short add your own congratulations i wish you good luck add whatever you want to add in the comment section okay and let's keep this fun there but yes i just like to prank you guys i'm not getting married i'm not leaving the streets i'm in the streets full time in short i own the streets <laughs> i'm not off the streets yet um my mom had a meeting at home um they came to pay her a visit for my grandma passing to me so it was her actually a meeting that i decided to you know what i need to add a little bit of spice my ghee curry and all of that to make it interesting for people to watch but yeah that idea came to mind that you know what since it's in the house just prank people you're getting married <laughs> If you watched to this point thank you so much i truly appreciate it um please give this video a thumbs up subscribe 
for more beautiful com um for more beautiful content and share this video okay i'm definitely going to see you on feeling me by the help of god on my next one i'm so exhausted Oof. anyway bye guys